and I wanted to tell you guys also about uh, paying price uh, for a gospel to follow Jesus and you know I even when I got saved I've seen many people uh, that call themselves um, that they're you know newborn Christians um, uh, that they were baptized in the Holy Spirit and all these things, but um, they never did anything, you know. They just sat in church every Sunday and that was it, you know. And I think what is more important for people to understand that we need to follow Jesus. We should not be focused so much on um, having massive churches and you know, just going to church and all these things, but actually following Jesus is if you really know God, to go and share it with someone, you know, because um, the love that God is showing us is so big, is nothing else in this world can be so big like His love, because it was unconditional. Um, you know, God Himself came down. Um, to this earth and died for us, for our sins. That just shows how much value we have in, in Him, you know. Um, and I was just thinking that um, being a follower of Jesus is not always easy because uh, it's not it's not just a pretty uh, meetings uh, on a Sunday, uh, you know, in a church, but. Um, I could experience it myself when, uh, whenever I uh, sort of met God and New Holy Spirit, I start reading a Bible, and I couldn't do it in my home. Um, um, I couldn't read it. I was told that I should not, because um, it's just uh, stupid. Uh, there, it will have no va like. It's not a valuable. I will not have anything from it. Um, so I move out from my home, that was a big step. Um, I was still in high school at the time and you know, things were not easy. I just, uh, I remember the day before I, I did that, I went with my friend um, into the forest and we were praying and you know, I, I saw an angel and um, and then I just knew I had a scripture that was saying to leave the, the place where you are because, you know, pretty much to just leave it all behind what is not helping you. Um, leave the dust. Um, so two days later I moved out from home um, and, you know, I, I didn't had any money. I didn't know what's gonna happen. I just took my things and uh, one of my friends invited me for a dinner and she was asking me where I'm going and I said I don't know and uh, my friend uh, moved out from home too um, and she's supposed to stay with uh, one of the girls from our church um, but instead she took me to her apartment and that's where I stayed um, for six, seven months, and God was speaking in a powerful way to me um, how how much he loves lost people, how much heart he has for them, and that people that already met him don't do anything. They keep all those things that they feed themselves from the word, from whatever it is, and they don't share it with others, and people are going hungry. I'm not saying uh, just physical way, but in spiritual way. Um, you know, uh, there's lots and lots of people that are ready to, um, to meet God, but there's just not many people that will actually go and do it. Um, and you know, but it's worth paying price for it. Uh, it's not always easy, but um, at the end we have only one life, you know. Um, and you know, birds don't worry what they're gonna eat, what they're gonna wear, and how much more valuable we are in God's sight. Um, so, if God of the universe is on our side, what we be afraid of? You know, what can man do to us? So, yeah. 
Um, I hope that you will take those words to yourself and um, just pray that God will move your heart um, and touch you to, to go and and just share God's love. <laughs>